Hello everyone and welcome back to Pro Blog Shop. My name is Scott Turner and in this tutorial I'm going to be taking a look at uh, working with tables. Um, specifically using tables with the Dean's FCK editor. And I'm using the latest version of that plugin, version 3.3. .3, and we're talking about this feature right here, working with tables. And we're going to see how we can use tables to create different elements of a website. Um, here is maybe a purchase button a purchase block. Here is maybe a testimonial or something something else just maybe it has a background like this. Here is kind of a features and benefits table that you can create. Maybe uh, or maybe these are X's instead of check marks and they can be uh, negatives, you know. Here's the reasons why you're not getting what you want. You know, you so uh, you can maybe do something like this or you can even get more sophisticated and do maybe like an opt-in box where we have you know some content on the left and then your opt-in form goes here but you can also see that we have a features and benefits table inside of a table so you can also see how you can nest um, tables to create different elements as well so we're going to go ahead and start creating some of these to see how to um, use this feature right here the the tables feature now to start with you can just put your cursor wherever you want the table to be inserted and click the tables icon that's going to bring up the main tables properties okay here you can set the rows the columns how wide you want it you don't need to worry about the headers you can experiment with it on your own time and you can figure out what it does but right now we're not going to cover headers I just want to get the basics down rows column how wide you want it whether you want it to have a border and um, the alignment left right or center um, and then for cell spacing and cell padding I'd like to demonstrate that right now I'm gonna go kind and click OK these are cells each one of these individual boxes are called cells the whole thing is called a table okay when it says cell spacing that means how far apart these are from each other okay how far this box is from that box how far that box is from that box that's cell spacing cell padding is more specifically with the content that's contained inside of it if you see how I have some text in here how the um, border is right next to the text it's kind of squishing it all together well the cell padding will help space that out a little bit and push the it'll push the content or I'm sorry it'll push the border away from the content to illustrate that, I'd also like to show you how to bring up the main menu. Um, if you'll mouse over the table and click on it, you'll see these squares come up. And then you can right click on it and go to Table Properties, and that brings up the main menu. To finish off what I was talking about, let's go ahead and put um, maybe 5 here and uh, 10 here so you can see what I'm talking about. And you can see how the spacing got thicker, but also that there's padding around the content. So that's what those two control. Um, now there's another menu that I want you to be aware of, is that while we have, we right click on the table again, we have tables property menu, each cell has a menu as well. So in this cell, we can right click it and go to cell, cell properties and uh, we can do things like set the width we can change the background color okay um, we can even set how we want the content to sit inside of the table um, for example a lot of times you might have some content that's longer than the other column and so this will sit right in the middle but what you could do is sell properties vertical alignment top and you can see it sets it up at the top so you can position the content where you want it again you ha this is just for the cell the individual cell properties um, a couple other things I want to look at uh, as far as work you know just working with the table in general um, are just when you right click in general on the on the table instead of going to the, these properties or 
these properties. I just wanted to run through these menus here. Um, you can obviously just look at them and see what does what. Um, but obviously, insert row after, insert row before, and uh, delete rows um, will obviously work as well. But I wanted the, I wanted you to be aware they were there. Um, so let's go ahead 